Hi, let me show you what kind of trade-off I'm facing with regards to the angle of attack of the main wing. So let's start with the uh, hover efficiency trade. I'm starting out here with a 14 degree angle of attack of the main wing. And uh, it needs to spin pretty much exactly one revolution per second to keep itself in hover. And going down in pitch to 12 degree angle of attack uh, gives you a little bit higher pitch speed but slightly higher power consumption as well. And then the current version, 10 degrees of pitch and uh, even yet a little bit higher power consumption. But uh, the uh, tr other side of the trade-off is that you uh, you lose speed with the uh, higher pitch and higher hover efficiency. And the text rolling down there is actually going at the same speed in these three clips. So you can see here that the lowest pitch propeller definitely has a better ability to move fast laterally. So that's a win for the uh, lower pitch, although you lose hover efficiency. But it's another trade-off here as well, and that is uh, the ability to have uh, the vertical control over the machine. And at 14 degree pitch, it's very easy to arrest a descending motion. But already at 12 degrees of pitch, it's much more difficult to halt the uh, vertical. And going down to uh, 10 degrees pitch on the main wings, I simply opt for just flying out of the descent, so I gain some um, translational lift there. Uh, and this is the reason why I didn't try to, uh, to go down to a 8 degree pitch on the wings. Uh, because I really thought that I would settle for something like perhaps 12 degrees of, of pitch. But when I saw that the power consumption only rose slightly uh, with the uh, decreasing pitch, and the gain in uh, lateral speed was so great, I really couldn't, uh, uh, it was so uh, like tempting to, to actually let, let it be at this lower degree. And of course I have to try out to go down to like 8 degrees pitch or so, but to be able to do that I do need the higher pitch propulsion propellers. They are now still the 12 by 12 inch propellers, and I did order 12 by 14 inch propulsion propellers but the supplier couldn't actually deliver. So uh, I found another supplier and they are sending me a 12 by 13 inch propellers, which uh, should give me a better authority over the, the vertical motion, even with the lower pitch of uh, 10 degrees on the main wing. Uh, and I really just want to find out uh, how low I can go, uh, because of course it's, for me it is important to have a good hover efficiency, but so far I only lose a couple few percents of efficiency and I gain a lot of uh, speed. So if you measure efficiency in uh, like how far you can travel with this machine, it's obvious that I've not really uh, struck the right balance yet. Uh, I, I might be good at 10 degrees, it might be the, the optimum, but I really need to find out where, where the uh, parasitic and uh, induced drag uh, are equal and so far the, uh, the uh, dynamic drag seems to be higher than the parasitic drag. So uh, that's for the next, next test when I get those propellers. And uh, then again I want to try with the fairings on, because now I'm down to half uh, the wings covered with the uh, uh, covering material. And I didn't try the, uh, the fairings uh, with uh, only half skin wings. So that's also up uh, next when I have uh, uh, found the the optimum balance of rotational speed versus uh, hover efficiency. So that's coming up in a future episode. Bye for now.